We are going to begin uh, this morning with the White House shakeup. President Trump's chief of staff, Reince Priebus, resigns and is replaced by Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly, a four-star general. It has been six months of chaos in the West Wing. Not just Priebus, before that, Press Secretary Sean Spicer gone. Communications Director gone. The Deputy Chief of Staff gone. The National Security Advisor gone. Oh, we're not done. The FBI Director James Comey also gone. All of this has happened in just six months. And now the president is turning to a trusted former general to impose order in his White House. The big question, though, can this change effectively reset the administration? And what is Reince Priebus saying about all of this? ABC's David Wright begins our coverage at the White House for us this morning. David, good morning to you. Good morning, Paula and John. The president is clearly hoping that this shakeup is going to bring some order and discipline to a White House that has been riven by by division and backbiting chaos that comes at a cost to the president's agenda. The scapegoat this week, outgoing Chief of Staff Reince Priebus, who left the White House last night. Priebus told Fox News he wouldn't comment on those scathing attacks from Communications Director Anthony Scaramucci. I'm not going to get into the, that, that subject. It's just it's getting in the mud, and I, I think the palace intrigue stuff is annoying, and, and I think it's a distraction. It takes away from the president's agenda. Um, I think what everyone needs to do is just focus on the president, to focus on the things that he wants to get done for the American people. The announcement, expected all week, came abruptly in a presidential tweet late Friday. The Priebus said he resigned Thursday. I think actually going a different direction, hitting a reset button is a good thing. And the president did that. And so I think he's happy. I, I got to tell you, although it's always a little mixed when things like this happen, I generally feel pretty good. Right, Priebus, a good man. Priebus's replacement starts Monday. A retired four-star general from the Marine Corps, who in his current role as Secretary of Homeland Security, was a steadfast supporter of the president's plan to strengthen America's borders. The uh, president, as we all know, has issued three executive orders related to our Homeland Security mission. These orders will secure our borders, enhance the enforcement of our immigration laws, and keep our citizens safe. General Kelly has been a star, done an incredible job thus far, respected by everybody. General John Kelly is well-liked in the West Wing with a proven record at command. His new unit badly in need of some discipline. But Kelly has no prior political experience, which could make it tough when it comes to issues like health care. The White House is still reeling over the Senate's failure to pass an Obamacare repeal, a signature campaign promise defeated with a thumbs down from Senator John McCain. A crushing blow to the GOP leadership. Well, the new chief of staff, as we said, starts Monday. In the meantime, the number two over at Homeland Security, Elaine Duke, she'll take over as acting secretary. But there's been some talk of the possibility of Attorney General Jeff Sessions eventually heading over to Homeland Security. That would uh, be news to the Department of Justice, however, and it would certainly raise some eyebrows here in Washington. That, Paula? Would, that would definitely be um, intriguing. David, before we let you go, I've got to ask you about the president. He uh, raised some eyebrows with this comment during a speech yesterday to law enforcement. He was referencing cracking down on suspected gang members. Let's take a listen. Like when you guys put somebody in the car and you're protecting their head, you know, the way you put their hand over. Like, don't hit their head and they've just killed somebody, don't hit their head. I said, you can take the hand away, okay? Okay, so David, the president uh, taking a lot of heat for that comment. Can you give us a little context? Well, he was speaking to local law enforcement officers, and he seemed to be suggesting that a little police brutality is not necessarily a bad thing, joking that at least. And there was immediate pushback from the Suffolk County Police Department, for one. They are among the groups that he was addressing, and they tweeted out immediately that, uh, as a department, we do not tolerate the roughing up of prisoners. Paula, John? Yeah, yeah, regardless of whether or not they're gang members. All right, David Wright, thanks for your reporting from the White House. And speaking of the White House, John, yep. we're usually talking to you via satellite in yep. D.C. Uh, I want to pick your brain. You've been covering Washington for the better part of two decades. Reince really was never a great fit for this administration, but overnight taking the high road, saying this is a reset, a much-needed reset for the administration. Do you think bringing in a four-star general is actually going to restore order and get this administration back on the right path? Well, well, look, the problem in the Trump White House is that 
there is a chief of staff, and his name is Donald Trump. Donald Trump acts as his own chief of staff. He acts as his own communications director. Nobody really reported to Reince Priebus. The senior staff in the White House had direct line to the president. That's the way he liked it. My question is, what kind of authority is General Kelly going to have? Yeah, that's it. Well, he certainly has the respect of the president. Absolutely. So maybe that is step one. All right. Thanks for your analysis. Don't hey, go anywhere you know, for a while. I'll stick around for yeah. a while. Um, we want to bring in ABC News political analyst Koki Roberts from the nation's capital. Uh, good morning to you, Koki. Good morning, Paula and John. We're missing you down here. <laughs> Don't go back anytime soon, okay? Um, I, you know, I wanted to be away from the chaos, so I came to Weekend GMA. Right. New okay. York is always the place to be for that. We said if he could handle uh, six months of chaos in Washington, he could, he could definitely handle Weekend GMA. So, um, Koke, I just asked John about this, but with I want to get your take on it. With Priebus being replaced by Kelly, do you anticipate that there will be less chaos in the administration? No, I agree completely with John. Uh, the, the problem is not the chief of staff. Uh, the problem is the president, and and nobody can stop him from tweeting whatever he wants to tweet at all hours of the day and night. And whether that uh, contradicts some policy that the White House is trying to put out, uh, is the president doesn't seem Thank to care you. about. But in addition to that, um, we have not had good experiences with generals as chiefs of staff. Uh, the last one was General Alexander Haig. And that was pretty chaotic. And uh, by the time Jerry Ford became president and inherited him as chief of staff, it didn't work at all because President Ford did not want that kind of chaos in the White House. And it lasted just about a month. But, Koki, Republican leaders practically begged President Trump to name Priebus at the beginning of this administration, saying he needed a Washington hand, somebody with, you know, contacts with, with Congress. Somebody who was a Republican. <laughs> Somebody now, we're, a Republican. now we're at the now, point. Now you've got a general who's got, you know. There, there are no Republicans in the White House. Uh, maybe Don McCann, the, the lawyer. But uh, there really aren't. Um, you know, last year at this time, we were at the Republican convention saying this is not a Republican convention. This is a Trump convention. Now we have a Trump White House. Uh, it is going to be heavily New York, heavily uh, his administration. He loves what he calls my generals. Uh, but it is not Republicans. These are not people who have been in the party, have been uh, working in the vineyards for years, have helped elect the people who are in Congress, all of those things. And so um, does that make the relationships mm -hmm. with Congress any better? I don't think so. Speaking of the relationships with Congress, you know, we were talking about this earlier off camera, seems to be several factions, the Republicans, the Democrats, and then you've got the Trump administration. The fact and within that, that, a few different factions. Few, exactly. Um, <laughs> do, do you anticipate that making the the president's agenda tough to actually go forward? It's already tough. Uh, and, you know, the health care is just the most uh, obvious of the agenda items. Um, now, uh, General Kelly has been very supportive of the wall, uh, which is something that uh, President Trump really got out there and ran on last year. Uh, but the people in the House are ready to put in a little money f to build a wall. That's going to run up against a wall, so mm -hmm. to speak, in the Senate. And that's what's going to keep happening. You know, the, the Senate is very evenly divided. And they, they members of the Senate did not run on the same issues that the president ran on. All right. Koki, it's always great to have you on a Saturday. Good to be Sunday with you. morning. We'll take you whenever <laughs> we can get you. All right, Koki? Always nice to be here. Thanks, Koki.